blessings. This afternoon, some of the stories I have here. Woman robbed and R.A.P.E.D. in St. Catherine by man she met on dating app. Zozo announced for Norwood in St. James. Also coming up, this is why Tash was murdered yesterday, which was Father's Day, in Roden Hall near Kellitz in Clarendon. So that's and more, and trust me when I say you don't want to miss. So stick around for the details right after the intro. But remember that if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe. Plus, click the notification bell, and while doing so, select Option All, so that way you'll be first in the line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel and also remember to give this video a like for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude stay safe Now on to the stories. A St. Catherine man is on the run after allegedly R.A.P.I.N.G. and robbing a 23-year-old woman on Friday after they met on a popular dating app, Bado. I guess she made a bad choice. The incident occurred in Riversdale near Bagwalk in St. Catherine. Police sources unfolded what they knew sometime after the woman who resides in the corporate area had been interacting with the man on the app, she went to visit him in Riversdale. While there, the man reportedly pulled a gun on the woman and dragged her into bushes where he sex while he assaulted her by force and that is what I call illegal trespassing. And during the ordeal, the woman was also robbed of her valuables but was later released. The matter was reported to the St. Catherine North Police who are investigating the incident and this must serve as a warning to all you other young girls out there. These dating apps are not a reliable source for finding yourself a genuine partner. All different types of monsters are playing possum. They are not disciples. Not because his alias is Matthew and he can clearly be identified as Mark. What most of you females need to understand and keep in mind is that predators always set themselves up so they can easily target their prey. So man will have touch up Pitney, always try to be a Samaritan, always walk with Sweetie, quick for buy people Pitney ice cream, always trying to play the role of a um what they call it? Um a charity. Man will have take with people, always wanna run taxi or place himself in a position where he can now have a wide variety of women to choose from. Man will have underage girls, always try to turn teachers, doctors, etc. And they will use their power, which is now their weapon, and take advantage of their long-awaited opportunities. Not saying all men are the same, but men with a certain frame of mind always chooses a job that complement their passion in one way or the other, as long as it will assist um, the fulfillment of their fantasies. And even though it is your body, and you decide how you flaunt it whenever, with whosoever, these men will take you wherever and do whatever. However, you might not be this fortunate to be among the living after they are satisfied pleasing themselves. You might end up dead, so you have to be careful. Because what I realize is that you have some men posing as if um, they need someone, as in a settled on partner. But the truth is, them just a look at F from some new girl. And if he successfully lower you in his circle, if he successfully managed to influence you to come and visit him, meet him, etc., he is going to take that SEX whether you gave him the go ahead or not. It is going to happen even by force because you come in thinking you're going to meet a man that is ready and waiting to talk about life and relationship goals. I mean, you have it all wrong. It's just a FMA look. You already have it all planned out. So, the place that you both agreed to meet up, that's one of his abduction spots. So if the female became suspicious and refused to meet him at point A, just know that he has a plan B that will also work in his favor. And for the little girls listening and don't understand, for example, just like when you go for buy your shoes, the original price for the shoes is 10,000 or what the shoes really worth is 10,000. But they told you that the price for the shoes is 15,000 because by the time you ball down the price and them take off a three grand or them just a chow, all right, the most we can take off is a five grand. The $5,000 that was not even supposed to be there in the first place and you feel so happy within yourself that 
You can't make such a bargain pass because the man take off 5 grand off of the shoes. When the original price for the shoes was indeed 10,000 including their profit. That is the same way they told you to meet them at such and such location. And if the first location arose your suspicion and make you feel like you know about the one go, the Orion drop the convincer because the second option is always convincing make you want to comply and fall for it. Because what they don't want is for you to change your mind from meeting them. And you feel so relieved as a female and say, alright, make a come. Because to you, option B sounded much safer, maybe due to its environs, but it is a pity you don't know that it is still a trap because everything is premeditated, their plans are well penciled. But due to the fact that he dropped it on you so fast, it seems like he said it randomly, like him just think about it because him say, alright then, what about, alright then, what about, you can meet me there, sir. But you are wrong, it is just another strategy, them don't mess out that, you are cornered. So please be careful, leave a comment and make your opinion count down in the comment section. Now as we head on over to St. James, Prime Minister Hanji Holness declared a zone of special operations ZOZO for the community of Norwood in St. James during a virtual press conference on Sunday which was yesterday. The Prime Minister reported that 15 murders have been reported in Norwood since the start of this year bringing the murder tally in the community to 66 since 2019. He also disclosed that the police are reporting 14 shooting incidents in Norwood since the beginning of 2021. He said six gangs are known to be operating in Norwood, which is an area of approximately one square kilometer with a population of approximately 11,800. And the number of Zozos in the country now stands at five, the first of which was announced in 2017 for Mount Salem, also in St. James. Since then, others have been announced for Denham Town, Kingston, Greenwich Town and August Town in St. Andrew. Speaking at the press conference, Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson said since January this year, 79 murders have been recorded in St. James Police Division, which is a 25% increase over the same period last year. The police commissioner said Norwood accounted for most of the murders and shootings in the parish. Former councillor of the Norwood Division, Anthony Henry, who spoke from the community on Sunday, welcomed the intervention of the police but said he wanted and um, he wanted to see more rollout of social intervention program um, in the community. Be attentive. This has been demonstrated through previous and current zones. This enhanced security measure has been very effective in not just reducing violent crimes, but also in establishing long-lasting peace and stability. Since the Mount Salem community in St. James and Denantown community in Kingston West were declared zones of special operations, violent crimes have significantly reduced within the boundaries of these communities. The communities where zones have been introduced continue to benefit from significant infrastructural and social development. So you can leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section. So, yesterday Sunday, which was also Father's Day, chaos erupted in Roden Hall, Clarendon, as irate residents attempt to harm a man who was being arrested in relation to the brutal murder of his pregnant girlfriend in the community. The deceased has been identified by residents as Tashika McKay, alias Tash, of Roden Hall near Kellitz in the parish. Preliminary reports are that relatives found McKay lying on her bed with her throat slashed. The police were subsequently alerted and began an initial probe. Acting on intelligence, the police visited a neighboring community of Mason River where Mackay's boyfriend was arrested and taken to the crime scene in Roden Hall. Irate residents became aware of the developments and descend on the crime scene where they attempt to carry out jungle justice. And I spoke about it last night where I also mentioned that the police had was to fire several warning shots to get the residents to retreat and eventually disperse from the area. But the unbelievable part is that it is alleged that this is the cause, this is why he slit or slash the throat of Tash. Be attentive, then leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section. Here's a voice note. Well, brother, I'll kill the girl, cut her short. Well, I'll let you info, sir. My friend, I'm going to do a run joke. Go father's day. And I'm going to tell him, say, the pit anyway, then her belly, she's pregnant with now and a few more. So I'm not going to the house for an argument with the woman. She and him in an argument and the boy cut her throat. Cha-cha. See where Joe cast? 
can run joke with any, any anybody and anybody can take joke. Is in Shake up door, Jaja. So there you have it and people trust me, I don't even feel like I'm supposed to believe this because this is literacy at its highest peak. Because trust me, if this is what really led to the young lady um basically losing her life. Well, might as well the police they just hand you over to the residents and let them mob you. Listen, I don't want to comment on this until I get some feedback from you, my loyal supporters. So please, I'm asking you, each and everyone that watched the video and reached the end of the video, please, I'm asking you to leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section based on this section of the video. Um, now, this is Tashika Make who lost her life in Kelly's Clarendon. Yeah, I need to hear from you because if what um, that gentleman is saying in the voice note if that's how it all went down and that is the cause of it well trust me you deserve a dead brother simple it's just the truth and before i go remember that if you're new to the channel if it is your first time over here please i'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel and also remember to give this video a like, like always, for YouTube algorithm. Blessings and more beatitude. Stay safe.